Okay, so let's say let's say someone's a really ethical. They never go to any fast food. They never go to any restaurants, and they uh -huh. they buy their pigs from the nicest. Let's say the nicest free range farm. The pigs go getting their belly rubbed every day and stuff. What's the death like for that pig? Most pigs in this country and in the UK are killed in gas chambers. Um, so the the vast majority of them are killed in gas chambers, which is where they're lowered in these gondolas into a gas chamber. Um, and they load several pigs into these gas chambers at a time and they are exposed to toxic gases that burn them from the inside out because these gases attach to any amount of moisture that they have in their bodies. So mucus or anything like that. And it attaches to that and then burns from the inside out. So these pigs die thrashing and fighting for their lives, screaming at the, I mean, the, the, a pig scream is extremely harrowing and mm. they die a horrific, horrific death. They are clearly in pain. Clearly they are suffering until the bitter end. Um, when I first learned this, it really baffled me that humans will then eat the flesh of an animal that's gone through that. Um, because first of all, I just didn't understand how that does not affect the flesh, right? If you're just purely thinking about this from a quality point of view, quality of, mm. of meat point, of, but then also because you're consuming suffering, if you choose to do that, like you're literally consuming a tortured soul, a tortured mm. animal. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how most pigs are killed. Now in the other cases where they're not killed that way, they are usually electrically prodded or stunned. Um, both of which does not kill the animal. It renders their limbs useless. They become docile and easier to control. And then they are stabbed in the throat and hung upside down to bleed out. And a lot of people have to say, well, halal is worse. Well, it actually, <laughs> is almost identical to the way that it's done in um, Western farms. But anyway, um, I, I'm sure that I'm sure that if you were to ask a pig uh, which way it would like to die, if it could communicate that, it probably would choose to live. Mm -hmm.